How's it going, card fighters? Gleaming Garmor here, and we have finally passed the momentous milestone of 100 subs. And with that, I want to tell you guys a story of how I started Vanguard, as well as unbox something special to me, okay? So, here's the thing about Vanguard, right? Uh, I first found out about it in middle school, because there were these friends I had in middle school that we would play, that we'd play Yu-Gi-Oh with. And one day I came in and they weren't playing Yu-Gi-Oh, they were playing this new game and they were like, oh, it's called, it's called Vanguard. And they, and they were like, they, they played out their game and I was watching and then they were like, oh, if you have any more questions, um, there's a show you can watch. And I watched it and I got really into the Vanguard anime, right? I'm a big fan of the Vanguard anime. Um, if you guys are wondering, um, Aichi is not my favorite character because I'm not basic, but I do love Aichi a lot. Um, my fave is probably Tayo, which I've gotten some flack about before. But, um, anyway. With, um, with the, uh, with that done, I started looking out, looking for where I could get cards. And at the time, there wasn't anywhere in my area where I could buy Vanguard cards. So, I never got to play the game until somebody came into my locals, and uh, he had some extra decks laying around. And one of them was a gold paladin deck that he'd scraped together that featured Garmor as the main unit. And I said, hey, I want to play you. If I win, I want to keep the deck. And he agreed, and I won, and the rest is history. Um, so, of course, I got Garmor... And it was my it was my first it was my first main boss unit, and I ended up buying the uh, the Gurguit start deck because that was where we were at the time. And I combined the Gurguit start deck with a lot of the cards I already had. Um, I took out the Blade Cross Lion and instead played Garmor because he was just he was just a better Blade Cross Lion. But all this to say that today for 100 subs we have a Japanese TDO five. That's right, the Silver Wolf TD, the one featuring the band, the myth, the legend, Garmor. And we are going to unbox it. I have never, I, I, I don't even know what's in this TD, I'm going to be real with you, other than the Garmor. Um, I mean, there's a, there's a set list on the bottom, but I can't read Japanese yet. I'm working on it. Um, let me, how do I get into this? I don't want to like destroy the box, right? Because this is a very cool thing. How, how are you supposed to open this? Mm, do I just, do I just pull here? How do you get in? That's the thing, right? It's like, I don't know how I'm supposed to open this. Um, okay, I don't have a knife around anywhere. I don't have scissors. Hold on, I do have scissors. I'm gonna get up. All right, we're back with the scissors. Um, now YouTube, these are scissors that we deemed it suitable for my little brother to use, so it shouldn't be any problem for anybody else to see me using these scissors, right? Yeah, right? Oh, I know I'm cutting through something I'm not supposed to be right there, I think. Oh, boy. How do I... Are we... Are we there? Do I... Uh, as cool as it would be to keep the box intact, I don't think I can do it because I just don't know how to open this thing. Do I open it from the bottom? Oh! Do I just crack the plastic open? Uh, uh, oh, got it. Oh, Beans, is there a promo pack in here? Whoa! There's a bunch of stuff I didn't know was gonna be in here, too. Okay, so we've got, we've got our, we've got our trial deck right here. Uh, uh. Um, what is this? Are these, like, the, the points cards or whatever that they do in, like, the modern, the modern things? Um... TD is a little bit warped, just just a little bit, 
but let's let's look at let's look at the rest of this, right? Okay. So we've got this promo pack. I'll open that in a bit. Um, but then we've got our then we've got our first guide, which is this thing's massive. What the? Yeah, no, this thing's huge. Hold on. One, two, hold on. How are you supposed to fold this thing? Like, there's, there's gotta be, there's like some combination that folds into a book, right? Like that? Did I do it? Okay, so we've got our first guide. Um, okay, let's see here. So, um, this is just like an overview of the game, and then it's like, oh, the new limit break. You guys like limit break, right? And then it teaches you what the board looks like. What a unit's what a unit is laid out like. Um, abilities, triggers, or sorry, skills, abilities, triggers, um, counter blast, soul blast, soul charge. At the time, there was no counter charge, so you just turn the cards over. Oh, and then do I just? Do I just do what I just did on the blue side, but I do it on the red side? Is this... is this right? Am I doing it? Uh, I don't know, I'm just gonna look at it now. Okay. So then it walks you through a turn. Your um, stand, draw, ride, call, attack. Your what your what a typical board looks like, boosting, intercepting, twin drive, all that, huh? Okay, pretty solid. For real, they used to make the first guide so big. All right, is there anything is there anything on the back of these playmats? Cause like okay, so this this is gonna be like just your generic Vanguard playmat that you see all the time. Uh, Oh my gosh, this one's stuck. This one's actually stuck. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this, this one's just like a generic Vanguard playmat. I like the ones you can see in the show. But then they have the phases on the side, because they used to do that. And the damage zone was really tiny. Um, oh! Here we go. Combos. Combos. So then there's... Um, Okay, so they tell you about Garmor's Limit Break and how you can use it to call, like, Silver Fang Witch to draw a card. Um, and then there's, um, there's a Slagal, Slagal Double Edge. And it teaches you about how you're, you're running stand triggers in the form of Fortune Bell and you should use your attack order like so. Uh, it gives me a little bit of an idea of the cards that were in here. And then on the other hand, these Narukami cards, I'm a lot less familiar with, with old school Narukami than I am with old school Gold Paladin. So I know that this is Thunderbreak Dragon, and then there's Red, sorry, there's um, Red River Dragoon, and um, Thunderstorm Dragoon, and Dragon Dancer Rai Rai, who gains power when, sh when she's boosting Thunderbreak, as well as Charge Gall, which gains power when boosting Garmore. And... So I think that's I think that's it. Um, playbook, playbook. Is this a is this like? Oh my gosh! I can't wait to be able to read this someday. Oh my god! This is this is the this is the rule book. Did did TDs used to come with all this? Did TDs really used to come with all this stuff? That's so cool. Is are these the is this the restriction list? Did they include the restriction list at the time of release in this? Oh my gosh. Okay, let's start, let's start opening the cards. Okay, so we've got our, we've got our, we've got our great Silver Wolf Garmor, best boy. Um, and he's like your typical default limit breaker where he gains five on attack, but also when he's played, he can call a grade one or less from the deck. Um, or a grade two or less from the deck, I think. Then there's, we get two copies of Slagal Double Edge. Um, Slagal Double Edge is just like, you can counter blast one to gain plus two. 
And then there's uh, Battlefield Storm Sagramore. You may know him from being absolutely amazing and standard. Um, but he uh, he's like counter blast one on attack to gain plus three. Okay, Knight of, uh, Knight of Superior Skills Bowman, who is a 10k vanilla, and also like, what does this say? This is this is huge flavor text. This is the most flavor text I've seen on a card in a long time. Um, and then one copy of Slagle Sword, and I believe Slagle, Slagle Sword has the same ability as Slagle Double Edge, but it's on a grade two. Uh, Counter Blast one to gain 2k power. Sacred Guardian Beast Nemean Lion. Nemean Lion is an special interceptor. If you intercept with Nemean Lion, then it gains plus five shield. Um, this one's Chariot Knight, I believe. Chariot Knight, or uh, Charging Chariot Knight. Uh, gains plus three if you have more rear guards, I think. And then, of course, Knight of Elegant Skills Gareth, who has so much flavor text. I'm going to compare his flavor text to Bowman's. They might just say the same thing. No, they don't. They, they say different things. But they have so much flavor text. Are, they ri are, are there ride chance on these things? Is that what it is? Um, Evil Slaying Swordsman Haugen. Uh, Counter Blast 1 to gain 1k power. That was a pretty standard effect that existed at the time. Precipice Whirlwind Sagramore. Uh, when it's, when the attack it boosted hits, you can drop and draw a card. That's what Flame of Hope Airmo did as well. And then, oh, they also included two copies of Charge Gall. And Charge Gall was on attack, or on boost, if it's boosting Garmore, you can Soul Blast 1 to gain 5k. And then two Blessing Owls. Uh, Blessing Owl is on place one of your other rear guards, or one of your other units gains 2,000 power, which was which was nice for uh, helping you hit cross rides and the like. And then we got one copy of Silverfang, which, who, um, other than Garmore, is probably like, the best card in this TD because it's um, Soul Blast 2 to draw a card on place. And that can be when you're placed by a card effect. That can be when you place from hand. Um, but you see, later on, later on, Gold Paladin would get Dindrain, which is 1k bigger, but then has the trade-off of you only get to draw a card. Uh, uh, it is 1k bigger and only Soul Blast 1, but you only get to draw a card when she's placed from deck. Finally, we're at our starter. Grassland Breeze Sagramore. Free Grassland Breeze, everybody. Um, hey, if, if, you catch me, if you catch me using this as like my proxy starter or whatever, because I'm like, wow, Grassland Breeze. Don't call me out. I want him. He's Grassland Breeze Sagramore, a cool guy. And then Silent Punisher as our uh, as our four of crit. Uh, weapons dealer Gwydion as our draw. Fortune Bell as our stand, and Elixir Somalia as our heal trigger. Um, now the the TD did come with rainbow triggers, and. Honestly, stands back in the day were not very good, but Fortune Bell is cute, so there's that. Um, honestly, you probably would want to run just more crits. You might you might keep Gwydion. Actually, this, this trigger lineup isn't too terrible. Um, but yeah, this was back in the day where TDs only came with one copy of their, their cover card, so they only got one Garmor out of this. In exchange, all copies of Garmor that existed were foil, though. But um, that's the TD. Let's look at this. Let's look at this promo pack. I have no idea what could possibly be in here. I'm gonna be amazed with whatever comes out. I'm sure. Is it a gold paladin? I hope it's a gold paladin card. Can we can we open the promo pack, please? It's a stand trigger. I can see it. What is this? Okay, I'm gonna close my eyes now. I'm gonna close my eyes now and open it. And it's it's what are you? You look like, okay, the text is probably something along the lines of Battle Razor, but I don't know what this is. Ro hold on, hold on. I'm trying to read, I'm trying to read whatever, whatever parts of it I can, okay? Um, okay, because the race appears to be written in Hiragana, so there is a, there's an R-O sound in there. 
No, that says Battle Roid. That, that is, this is a Battle Roid card. Is this Battle Razor? What is this, guys? If you know what this card is, let me know. I really want to know what this card is. Oh my gosh. But, um, yeah, that was our, that was our, uh, Japanese TDO5 unboxing. I had a blast just looking at this, and I'm, and I'm really glad that, like, especially because I've been playing a lot of Zero, I remember, I remember a lot of these effects. So, um, let me just pull out the cards that I care about and I want to do something with. Um, these, these are neat vanillas. These are neat vanillas. I like, um... I, there, there was a, there was a, uh, you've actually seen it in a video before. It was, it was in the, uh, don't blame your losses on luck video, but I was trying out a build where you used, um, Tempest Spears and Zarzan in Gold Paladin to enable multi-attack on turn, on like turn three with Aggravain. And I was running, I was running these guys because these were just kind of the best vanillas Gold Paladin had because we didn't have any like fat shield vanillas either. We do have a fat shield vanilla now, so we could probably, like the Gareth would probably come out. But the Bowmains could stay, because it's still 5k shield, as opposed to our uh, 12k attacker to zero shield. But then meanwhile, we got, um, we got the, we got the, we got the, uh, Silver Wolf Gang, Garmore, uh, Sagamore, which, let's pull out the other Sagamores too. Sagamore is cool. Sagamore's a friend. It's, uh, it's kind of surprising that they never retrained the other, they, they never retrained the grade zero and grade one Sagamores. I don't know what that's about, cause like, I mean, you, I mean, like you guys, you guys have played standard. Yeah, grade three Sagamore's the goat. Why can't we have a Sagamore starter, huh? Free Grassland Breeze. Anyway, I've been cleaning Garmore, and I'll see you guys some other time.